Last time on Shadow of Destiny. Do you work at this museum? Did you persuade Father not to sell the house? Give it to me. I'll mend it for you. Are you cold? If you are, just put that costume over you. Can I borrow something to write with? And can I use this too? Two iron. Please get something like a thick iron plate. What the? I guess I managed to escape thanks to this thing. What's up, everyone? Brando Zone 5, Shadow of Destiny Chapter 5. So, like usual, gotta be getting cutscene. So, I will be quiet for your entertaining pleasure. How's it been? It's been a while. Past 8.30 already. I could use a little food. I guess being hungry is a sign that I'm still alive. Hey, I could go to that place, the one with the fire earlier in the day. That's right, you totally want to go somewhere that was on fire. Because you're not going to die there. No way, that's possible. Alright. Shit, fire. Shit, fire. I think. Ooh, what's this? It's bakery. Yes, it is. And you're fucking. You ass. That, um, that way. I think. Old people. I hate to use. Oh, walking's good for you. It's a nice change of pace. And that lady, I don't even want to know what she has to say. Look at me. I'm so beautiful. <laughs> God, I'm awesome. I'm just, just that cool. You know, it's funny how they can see me for like just a really short period. But they got my clothes and my face just right. Just right. Except for the whole fact that I'm holding a lighter. And that thing is not. Kind of more shit, if you ask me. So, Barzami. Barzami. Is German. Anyway. Time for some edibles. That's so delicious. This chapter has a lot of cutscenes. I mean, a shit ton. Good evening. Please, have a seat over there. What's good to eat around here? Oh, everything. Meat's good, vegetables are good. If you don't have anything particular in mind, well, why don't you try the special? All right, I'll have that. Coming right up. You're gonna love this. The science of alchemy has, as its grail, two great projects. One is the synthesis of the elixir of life, that which would free mankind from all ills of the body. The other is an amalgam, purely scientific in nature, the creation of a homunculus, an artificial life. Both require as their central ingredient a red stone, known as the philosopher's stone. The Philosopher's Stone? Wow, could that be? Here we shall briefly examine the life of Wolfgang Wagner, whose alchemical prowess was known throughout the region. Though born a farmer's son, he became the ward of wealthy kin after his prodigious intellect was recognized, and pursued studies in medicine and theology at university. Following this period, he seems to have made his living as an apothecary while pursuing the science of alchemy. However, what secured his lasting fame was no doubt the manner in which he met his end. 
Amid rumors of his engagement in an experiment of great magnitude and duration, Dr. Wagner's house was shaken by a thunderous explosion, and the alchemist himself was never seen again. It is often said that a no more fitting end could have been imagined for a magus such as he. Hmm, that sounds kind of suspicious. Here you are, enjoy. Nom 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 so good Hello Ike how are things going? Have you found anything out? That's an interesting book you have there. Hmm? You wanna look at it? Please don't shove that near me. I I don't like the symbol on the cover. What this? You don't like this pentagram kind of thing? You're a little strange. Well, of course I am. In any case, I know the contents of that book. Dr. Wagner, who is mentioned in the book, had a daughter, and she's a very significant figure to you. What? Like, she's one of my ancestors? Way to jump the gun. But you see, the digipad is drawn to that age because of the link. Whatever it is. Please, don't forget the red stone. I'm looking for it too, but I believe that you are the one who is fated to acquire it. Getting your hands on it will be a step towards avoiding your own death as well. Remember that. Hey, I, I need more! Gone again. This is a really one-sided kind of relationship. Me and the age this book talks about. What's the connection? What the... Oh, am I tired or something? What a shame. Do you know what you died of? What? It was poisonous poison, probably from a sea hell. It uses the female of a type of sea slug as the basic raw material. You can control the rapidity of the effect and the intensity of symptoms by how you blend it. I'd say that was the culprit. But you'll need to look into the details yourself. Why don't you try the library? Oops. I guess it's the art museum now. See you around. I guess it's the art museum now? What does that mean? It means you fucked it up. It's supposed to be a library, you ass face. But no. Oh, is this the art museum? Nope. It's my house. <laughs> you dumb bitch. Anyway, all right. It is a time for a time to think. We got a frying pan. What good is this for? It saves your life. All right. Time to go make this shit library. Whoosh. Time traveling is kind of old now. That's something old. Fifth. Missing. Let's see. We can talk to Mr. Alfred first, or we can go talk to his creepy child, Sybil. To the creepy child! Because creepy children are fun. Hello, creepy child. What is it? Oh, nothing. 
We just came to talk, that's all. I knew this would happen. Oh, you can go anywhere you like. That's nice. I always have to mind the baby, so I can't go outside to play. Besides, Father will be busy changing the house around from now on. Is it pretty boring for you here, Sibylla? Yes, just a little. Oh, don't tell Father. He'll worry, you see. It's okay, I won't tell. Hey, Sibylla, do you like cats? Kittens? Yeah, I love kittens. Oh, are you gonna get me one? I know someone who might be able to help. I'll ask him if you like. Really? A kitty? Okay, I'll bring you one soon. All right. Good deed for Mr. Alright, gosh, because I'm cool. Alright. Should be a kind of glitch that you can do to um whore energy units. Oh, never mind. It didn't work. Forget that. Alright, so now I'm going to talk to you. I'm still not sure, you see. Uh, you don't want to turn it into a museum? Well, I thought about that, but I've got a lot of books, too. Uh, a library wouldn't be a bad idea, either. Don't you agree? Well, because of the storyline, the library is better. Okay, you've helped me make up my now, mind. So come a back, library it is. And I'll change it. I'll change it back to a museum. Sound cool. Hey, remember that bar guy that we got coffee and stuff from? I wonder what he'll say. That way, that way. So. I mean, of course I know what he's going to say. I've heard this game 16 times. But you don't. Run, Mr. Ike. Run. Run as fast as your little short stubby legs can. Actually, no. You've got some pretty long ass legs. So this is probably the worst way to go. Ooh, energy unit. Down the right. I should probably put some time lapse. That'd be fun. But I'm not going to. Hey, I'm back and I don't have money. What are you going to do to me? Wait. I can't pay that tab yet. Oh, I'd better stay out of there. You little whiny bitch. Can I give him a medallion? Parrot! Um, um. Let's go to the alchemist's house. Let's see what's over there. What the? Travel, I guess. Alright, now I need to go back here. And go get a cannon! Okay, um, art museum. Uh. Okay. That way. I get kind of lost. This place is pretty big, sort of. Totally took the wrong way. Supposed to be 
up there. Hey you, old man, what do you have to say? Art museum or library? I heard it was a tough decision. That was almost 100 years ago. Congratulations. fucking license. You, let's talk. Why can't I produce a hit? I mean, really. Because you suck. Because you're a failure to the society and your weird look. You failed your ancestors. You know what you did? You failed them. You failed them. And you, sir. Freaking Carl Franson. Uh, who are the other Franson guys? Psh, you failed them. You're a failure to hold your entire family. You're the only one who can do anything artistic with your life. You're pathetic. I'm such an asshole. <laughs> Okay, let's go get this kitty cat and go talk about my cure. <coughs> Give me your cat. Hi, what can I do for you? Well, I need a kitten. You can take one? Great, well, that's just wonderful. Uh, there, take the one sleeping in that basket. She's a nice cat. I appreciate it. Come here, little kitten. Let me put you in my pocket. Yeah, watch this shit, watch. In my pocket you go. I time travel in front of you. No, oh, no worries. I'm just gonna you know, time travel. You know, disappear right in front of you. Nothing, nothing happened. You, you, you don't. No, you, you didn't see anything. Okay, good. Good. I told you all this chapter is long, and it's not even half over yet. Here's your fucking cat. Oh, you've got a kitten, haven't you? Show me, please. Hey, bitch, calm down. Oh, she's so soft. Can I really have her? I promised, didn't I? Make sure you give her lots of love. Hooray! And a litter Thank box, you. And some cat bowls, and some cat food, and some toys, and all the other stuff I didn't give give you. you, you ah, thank you for the lovely kitten. It's actually a full grown cat by now, I think. Or something. Anyway. Alright, time to Gotta go get me some missing. Sheep. God, the file for this video is gonna be so big. to think of it, she said her father did research. He may be this Dr. Wagner. They may have some sort of a link to me.
That hot sweat exploded. No, no, it's too dangerous. Don't get too near that house. There was an explosion just now. What with him dabbling in all that science, it's no wonder. God sent his judgment down. <laughs> You're some bitches. Uh, is, the, is this Dr. Wagner's house? Oh, so you knew him, did you? Well, anyway, you best not stick your nose in, or you'll be cursed too. See if you don't. Ah, you medieval fucks. So, this was Dr. Wagner's place. Yeah, there's a doggy sitting in front of that dog. What are we gonna do about that? I think I can get you some meat. Yes, sure. Go, go get you some. Some, some fine choice cuts. Alright. I'm right. You're wrong. What? Looking for meat? Well, don't hey, you you're kind of cute. I'll tell you what. You can have the scrap meat over there for free. I'll give you my meat. And you'll love it. You'll appreciate it. Yeah. It's wild. Ah. Come out. Alright. Um, any other explorables I can do? Nope. Excuse me, that postcard. Haven't we met before? Nope, never. I don't know, shut up. Never seen you before in my life. Here's some meat. It's a fine choice cut. Yeah, eat that meat. This man loves green. Green pants, green jacket, green eyes. It's very green. Eco friendly. Yeah. <coughs> Disgusting. <coughs> you. Why are you here? Who are you? What just happened? Yeah, I got 